Talking a little bit before, you guys play 17 games in 27 days or something like that? Yeah, 17 games in 26 days, not including the off days um, that the players get. So um, we got back-to-back -back weeks where we play five games. We haven't had any like that so far this year. We've only had really two midweek games. So we've only really had two weeks where we played four games. So now we have back-to-back -back weeks where we play five. So um, we're going to get challenged a little bit from that respect. We're gonna, our pitchers are going to have to get extended a little bit. We're going to probably run a couple guys out there that haven't pitched a lot this year. So it's a good opportunity for those guys. Uh, we hope that we find another player or two as we inch closer to the end of the regular season and, and hopefully look forward to the conference tournament. But that's one of the reasons why you play midweek games is you, you can hope you find another player or two that can help you on weekends. And, a lot of guys will have opportunities this week, that's for sure. What's your message to the players, given what you kind of just said about these next two weeks? Uh, some important games, but then also like the academic side is ramping up too. I would imagine there's a lot on their plate right now. There is a lot. We talked about it last week. We want to make sure they get enough rest, first of all, take care of themselves. We, we're doing the best we can to make sure we're giving them the proper food that they need. Um, get on top of their academics as best they can. You know, Get to class, get to your study halls because we know you're going to miss some class. And then uh, just play each game when, it, when it's on the schedule. Let's not get too far ahead. Let's not play the what-if game. So tomorrow night, we know we got a game. It happens to be against Nebraska, which is great. But we're just going to play that game. We're going to use the players that are available that day. And we're going to do the best we can. And as soon as that game's over with, we'll start focusing on the next one. But I think it's easy to start getting ahead of yourself a little bit at this time of year, thinking, oh, God, we got to worry about the weekend. And, this is a big game, and that's to me, they're all important. Tuesday's game against Nebraska is important, but it's no more important than Wednesday's game or Friday's game against Xavier. They're all important in my mind. So we're just trying to keep them grounded at this point, make sure they stay on top of their academics, and make sure they get the rest they need. With that being said, I guess what, what you were not happy with how they played the first time you guys played against Nebraska, the second time it looked like a completely different team. I guess, how do you maybe? channel that second game as opposed to maybe the, the first one? Well, I think, you know, not only was I uh, uh, disappointed, but the players were. We just didn't have any energy on that particular first game against Nebraska. And uh, we just said when we went down there, hey, let's change that. We have control of that. Let's play with some energy. Let's play with some enthusiasm. And they did. And uh, that's what we'll tell them as we prepare for tomorrow, too. Let's just play with that same level of energy. Um, that doesn't guarantee success all the time. But I know it guarantees a lot better uh, effort than what we saw the first time we played them. So um, easier said than done. You know, these guys, have, we've only played seven home games. Uh, I told that team, the team that last week, I mean, I don't know if there's another team in the country that can say they've only played seven home games, and we have not played a home conference game yet. You tell me another team in the country that has not played a home conference game, and I'd be surprised. So these guys have weathered the storm. The schedule's going to turn in our favor, and I, and I just hope they're ready for it. Your, your RPI kind of reflects that, playing a lot of road games. A lot of coaches kind of throw that talk aside. You you embrace it. You have for the last couple of years. I guess, do you like where your team's sitting right now? And then obviously it's, you, it's something you can't really control except just go out and win. Well, the thing I like is, is uh, we're getting a little bit better. Our pitching was much better this weekend than it has been any other weekend. We're getting healthier. You know, we hope to get Parker Upton back on a, on a regular basis here, hopefully as early as tomorrow. Um, so once we get Parker back, you know, we're really as healthy as we've been since the start of the season, and we're getting better. And I let everything else take care of itself, you know. Uh, the RPIs and, and conference standings, that's all good stuff to talk about, whatever, but I know that RPI is going to change drastically the next uh, four to five weeks. So we're, we're just going to try to get healthy, try to get better, and and trust that that'll be enough for us to be successful. Um, yeah. Well, what this, what's, what's been the key for you guys this weekend? I mean, put together three good games. What what is what is what stood out about the way you guys played? Uh, this weekend really it was it was kind of all pitching. Our pitchers were unbelievable all weekend. You can just clip it on the Kind of been trying to focus on it. I just don't want the all last week. Uh, you know, we just kind of had to rally behind our pitchers, and they pitched three unbelievable games. All three starters were awesome. Benson, Evan, uh, and Mitch were all. Mitch always does his thing, but to have those other two guys step up was huge. You uh, are entering the stretch where you're about to play 
coach was saying, five games this week, there's five next. I mean, it's a lot of baseball, plus the semester is ramping up. And we get to the end. How, how do you as a player try to maintain your focus during the stretch? And it's important on really in two aspects of College athlete, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, we're. Um, I mean, I think a lot of us are kind of used to it. It's just all balance. Here, you know? I mean, the whole season, I was we're trying to balance our social lives, our baseball, and our school and stuff. I mean, really, for me, it's kind of a baseball first priority. Yeah. yeah. And then work in school when we can, and family and friends. But yeah, I mean, I think we're all doing doing a good job of it. I mean, everyone seems happy and healthy. So yeah, I think we're doing good guys. Yeah, and what the schedule kind of like flips a little bit. Is, yeah. How much are you guys looking forward to playing here for more than just one game? Like yeah. having a weekend, a common yeah. series? That's going to be huge. We've only had, I think, two series here. Right. So, uh, yeah, and especially with this conference uh, part of our season coming up where we have Xavier at home and St. John's at home. It's going to be two really, really big series uh, in terms of conference play. So right. we're, we're really excited for this. Gotcha. those series. Um, kind of a little bit on your side of things, your story. Did you... You expect, what did you expect coming here? I mean, the coach kind of told us a little bit that you uh, were playing down in Southeast, and they, it just so happened that Brayton had a, some, a spot for you. Yeah, it was it was a really, really last minute thing. Yeah, it was quick. Think, yeah, I don't think I committed until, like, August 5th or something like that. And, you know, up until, I think, July, I was sat on going back to Southeast, and the coach called me middle of the summer. And I mean, Creighton's a place I've always really wanted to be. You know, I grew up council balls and went to Creighton Prep, so... I'm real familiar with coaching staff, how they play baseball here, and it was super, super good fit for me. Did you think, I gotta play right away? I gotta, I'm gonna have to learn? Or how, how I mean, I, I always hope to play right away, you know, and I thought, after talking to the coach, he said, I'm gonna have a chance, and I'm gonna be able to look at uh, some playing time in center, but I mean, I didn't, I really didn't expect playing this well. I mean, this off season was huge with me. What was it about it? That just, Able to adjust a little bit. To yeah, the weight room was huge. I put on, I think, 20 pounds. Yeah, we, I, mean, we all, uh, I mean, all all winter I was working on my swing with Coach G and Coach Widener. Like, exactly they've been the huge helps with that. So, really I mean, I think end of the winter I really started kind of seeing some big jumps. Well. And but, uh, then it was just finding confidence back that the season. Really, once I found that confidence, team, it, we all knew it came a lot easier. Coach says that you're kind of guy that's like, you know what, if I if somebody beats me in that bat, fine, I'll go get him. Where does that competitive spirit come from? Um, I think really just playing so many sports growing up. I mean, I was, baseball really was probably my third sport in high school, my third best sport. So uh, I've always been just a real competitive kid. I mean, if you ask anybody I've grown up with, any of my parents, my friends, I'll well, tell you I just tried to beat them in everything. I tried to be the fastest kid, the most athletic kid, or funniest kid. But it's literally just I just try to be the best at really anything I do. So I think that comes from my parents, really. So. Okay, remind me what we were playing at prep then. I, I ran cross country. Okay. Uh, yeah, basketball no, yeah, was my, sure. probably my biggest it's, sport. Uh, one of the kids and that, then I actually quit um, baseball my junior year. In school, Did you really? Yeah. So it's kind of a weird story. <laughs> you just, you, you down down weren't feeling it? Yeah. I mean, I, like you thought maybe trap was your yeah. I was like, all right, yeah, because I ran cross country and I was a four year level in cross country, so I was like, okay, maybe I can see if I can run at the next level. Right. And it turned out I just really didn't like track. <laughs> so I came back and played baseball that summer. Well, I've always said it's like, I mean, I guess if you're good at running, I mean, more power to you. But, like, you run, it's conditioning for yeah, every other sport. And that's, and that's, what I, that's the way I started it. I was like, all right, I'm going to get in shape for basketball and cross country. Right. It turned out I was good at it. So right. Then that competitive spirit came in. I just tried to beat, beat people out of it. So, yeah. so senior year. So it's cool Start playing to see baseball those guys again. doing well to like, help. Did it go? Mooney, keep uh, good, poorly. Uh, spring, I really didn't play great. We won a we won a state championship in the spring, and I started every game in center. Uh, but we really didn't have the best spring up until the state tournament, and we really kind of got hot. I think I got to like say, oh yeah, that, so that year we went. And then the that summer, we the something kind of started to click, and I really started to realize pretty good that, that year, so. baseball was probably going to be. Know, awesome. Awesome. Were you playing legion ball that summer? Yeah, legion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that. I mean, you're playing a lot. That yeah. kind of helps you kind of get into a group. And then did you already have Southeast lined up, or did that come Yeah, up? I committed right before yeah. summer. Well, okay. Yeah, so it was my freshman year. I, gotcha. They gave me a Someone chance to walk on. So it was kind of a bunch of first walk on thing. No, my dad, my dad didn't play anything. Okay, so I have, like, like, started, I so my cousin, second cousin was the mayor, and then I have another cousin. That's what it was. Like, maybe your grandpa? Yeah, second cousin was the mayor. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. Someone was like, yeah, the Hennepin name. And I was like, I couldn't. Yeah, there's a 
There's a ton of Hannafins over in Johnson. Are there? Okay, all right, that's what it is. Yep. Cool. All right, well, thanks for your time, man. I appreciate it. Yeah.